ان الحمد لله نحمده تعالى ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو محتد ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي الاحباب اي الاحبه في الله in this strange time that we live in we are in more and more need or our need increases for the da'wah to tawhid and the da'wah to ahl sunnati wal jama'ah the da'wah ila allah safiya pure da'wah ila allah because as it should be no mystery to any of us that the ummah has divided and we have many people calling and claiming they call to islam but in fact they call to themselves and many people who claim to call to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but they call to their group or their jamaa and many others who call who claim to call to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they call to batil they call to falsehood they call to bid'a and practices which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not legislate and the prophet ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us that we would divide and advised us to be one commanded us to be one as Allah commanded us to be one qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabi al-karim wa a'tasimu bi habli llahi jami'an wa la tafarraqu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al-khulafa ar-rashidin he said it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat and before that he alay salatu wasalam said in the same hadith he let us know that we would find many strange differences isn't this what we find today we find some people who say allah is everywhere some people who say uh who make ta'wil or they misinterpret the ayats and the sifat of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he rules above his throne ar-rahman ala arsh istawa in in seven places in the quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this that he tabarak wa ta'ala rose above his throne so ahl sunnah believes that but others say no 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 it means istola it means something else it means Allah took the arsh by quwa by by power that he controls the arsh or that it means power or that it means something else and they have no right to do so this is why we live in such a strange time and we have so many differences and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us he said for me yaish minkum ba'di fasayara fasayara ikhtilafan kathira whoever lives after me is going to see many differences then he gave us the prescription fa alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnat al khulafa ar rashidin al mahdiin it's upon you my sunnah and the sunnah of the rightly guided khalifat ayu la habbati fi llah as we mentioned these differences this rectification of the ummah can only come about by following the sabil of the salaf the minhaj of the salaf as-salih da'wah to ahl as-sunnah da'wah to salaf as-salih the da'wah of allah azza wa jalla this is the da'wah this is the call this is the propagation we don't propagate to ourselves but we propagate to kitabillah wa ila sunnati rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the fahm the understanding of the salaf of this ummah and all of those three components ayul habbati fi llah are imperative and yastalzim ba'dhum ba'd that you need all of those to make up the minhaj as-sahih the correct path the sabila mu'minin that the sahaba were upon imam babahari rahimahullah ta'ala said dawa qal 
السنه السنه or al islam huwa sunna wa sunnatu hi al islam that dawa or that uh, islam is the sunna it is the sunna and the sunna is islam and that you can't have one without the other so those people say they follow the quran but not the sunna or they belittle the sunna and they say well the sunna was carried by men it's pro it's probably not sound we we don't know we can't trust it these people are in bottom their argument doesn't hold any water because it goes against the whole foundation of Islam. Islam is the Sunnah and the Sunnah is Islam. فَنَا الْمِنْهَجْ أَهْلَ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَعَةِ فِي دَعْوَةِ إِلَى اللَّهِ يَقُومْ عَلَى عَقِيدَ صَافِيَةِ الْخَالِيَةِ مِنَ الشِّرْقِ وَالْبِدَعِ وَمَوَلَاتِ لَهَا وَمَعَادَاتِ لِأَجْلِهَا أَيُّ لَحَبَّتِ فِي اللَّهِ the minhaj or methodology of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah regarding dawa il Allah, calling to Allah, it is built upon sound aqidah, pure aqidah, which is free in totality from associating partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with shirk and polytheism and bid'ah and going against that. So when we hear people say now that we should prioritize with the Qur'an with regards to rectifying our community, we say, yes, you're right, jazakallah khairan, barakallah fiqh. But then when they make ta'wil fasid, when they make a, a false proclamation with regards to the meaning of that, saying that the Qur'an deals with our social problems, but it we don't have to get into theological debates. Then we, our eyes are, are, are raised and our ears twitch and begin to wonder, where is this person going with this? Men sabaka bihadaqol. Who preceded you in this statement? Do you have a salaf? A salaf min ahlu sunnati wal jama'a? And then when we look in the books, and when we speak to the ulama, and we listen to the lectures, and we go back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, we don't find anyone who's, who preceded in these kind of statements. So then we deduce from that, and we infer from that that it's batin, because it contradicts what we actually find in the nusus. Ayyullah habbati fillah. Shaykhana Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah yarhamahu, said a very profound but at the same time very simple statement which summarizes what I have been discussing in a very simple ibara, very simple sentence. Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al Wadi, Allah yarhamahu, said, Dawatu ahl sunnah. Hiya dawatu, hiya dawatu nila kitabi la, min kitabi la. Wa min sunnati rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ila sunnati rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. O kema qala shaykhana, Allah yarhamahu. The shaykh said, the dawah of Ahlul Sunnah, this is the dawah of, of the Salafis. This is the da'wah of Sabila Mu'mineen. This is the da'wah of the Sahaba, radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. It is the da'wah from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah. And from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. It isn't to our personalities. I don't care if you listen to me. I want that this perhaps one person benefits. And that Allah will put it on my scale of good deeds and take away some of my sins. We don't call you to us. We don't call you to, to be a part of a group or a clique. And when you see people doing that in the name of Salafiyah, then beware of what they're calling to. Because perhaps, or for sure, they're not calling to the Sabila Mu'mineen. Sabila Mu'mineen is to Allah Azza wa Jal. Fed'u ila basira. Fed'u ila men. 
إلى الله عز وجل who call to Allah with wisdom who do we call to we call to Allah سبحانه وتعالى the creator of the heavens and earth أيها الحبة في الله The Dawah to Tawheed, the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah, is the Dawah to Tawheed. And it is the Dawah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala called us to. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمُ لَقَدْ بَعَثْنَا فِي كُلِّ أُمَّةِ رَسُولٍ لِنْعْبُدُ اللَّهَ وَجْتَنِبُوا تَعْبُودِ I've sent, or we have sent to every nation a messenger to worship Allah alone and avoid the tabut and avoid those things to call away from shirk of those deities, those things, those beings that are worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the da'wah to Ahl sunnah So, never be intimidated or fearful or saddened by the few that you see following the Sabila Mu'mini. Because the Prophet وسلم, told us that there would only be few. And he said there would be only one group from amongst all these groups, that the Ummah would break into groups. If the Prophet وسلم, said, the Jews were breaking into 71 sects. The Christians in the 72 sects, and my Ummah in the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And they said, Who are they, Ya Rasulullah? Those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon today. So when we have our issues in America, or we have issues in the UK, or we have our problems, our political problems, and our political uh, wondering about our political position in France or Belgium. We can't wear the hijab or we can't do this or we can't do this. We have to know and understand that our answers lie in Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the men had to the salaf of this ummah. It's not a new, we don't need a new hizb, a new group to rally, a new political cry. We don't need to go downtown and march for Syria and ask uh, people who don't even believe in Allah and believe in the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to support us in in dealing with a taghut. That's not the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah. That's not what Ahl Sunnah calls to. And people are going to be upset with you for stating that. People are going to be upset with you from not protesting and following them. People are going to be upset with you because you didn't support the Arab Spring and overthrowing some that were Taghut and some that were uh, 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 just oppressors. Some were this, some were this. Ahl Sunnah didn't call to that. Ahl Sunnah didn't participate into that. Participate with that. And people are upset with that. Because Ahl Sunnah is restrained by what came in Sahih Muslim. When the Prophet والسلام, said in over uh, 120 or 120 at least different ruwayat and different ahadith, different narrations uh, about not rebelling against the ruler. The Prophet وسلم, said, "Asmi wa taala mari al Muslim fi ma yuhibu wa kariya. Ma lam yu'miru bi maasiyatin fi the umira bi maasiyatin fala sama wa la taala." The Prophet وسلم, said, "Listen and obey." Asmi wa taala mari al Muslim fi ma yuhibu wa kariya. Hear and obey the leader, and that which you love and that which you hate. There are many things you dislike. You're getting tickets for speeding tickets. You want to do this, you want to do this, you don't like that. Or maybe they take your wealth unjustly. You don't like that. In what you love and that which you dislike. As long as they don't order you to disobedience to Allah, if they order you to disobedience to Allah, then there's no hearing and obeying in that which they ordered you to disobey in. Meaning that doesn't nafi a ta'a ala mutlaqin. La. It doesn't negate that you are obedient in other commandments. 
it negates that you're obedient in that which is disobedience to Allah. If the leader commands you to take riba, you have to take it, or this and this and that, whatever things that they that is sinful that they order you to do, you don't obey them in that. But you do not rebel against them. You do not. Does that mean? Does not mean you negate all of their obedience. That's the faham of the salaf of this ummah. This is the ijma of the salaf. Go to those books and you'll find Imam Noah. We speaking about this. Sheikh Islam ibn Taymiyyah, uh, the other Aimma al din Nakla Jama and 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 uh, ijma on these masail. Imam uh, Abdul Bar. So ayal habti fillah. Don't be intimidated by the many people calling to different paths. As the Prophet ﷺ clarified for us in the hadith of Hadifa, Hadifa bin Yaman. And the Prophet ﷺ said in another authentic hadith that after he drew a line in the sand, the Sahabi narrated, said, Khatta lana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam khattan, thumma khatta ala yameen, وعلى يسار أو كما أو قال خطر خط لنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خطا ثم قال هذا سبيل الله. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم drew a a line in the sand and he said that's the path of Allah. Then he made one on the right and he made one on the left. He said and those are the various paths. And at the end of one each one of those paths is a shaytan who calls to it. أيها الحبة في الله don't we find this today? Don't we find many people, some people say, join my Sufi Tariqa, be Tijani, be Naqshbandi, be Diobandi, be Brailawi, be this, be that. Don't we have political groups and parties who say, join a Quran Muslimi, be go with us for Khurud for 40 days, three days, it's, a, it's an obligation to do this. You must go to Pakistan, you must go to India, you must visit the Merkaz in, in, in Abu Dhabi or Dubai. Don't we have people saying things that the people before them didn't, didn't uh, no one gave precedence to these statements, and especially no one from the Fudala, from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Ayya la habbati fillah, la tahzim. And don't be afraid to command the good and forbid the evil to the extent of your ability if you have the ability to do so. The Prophet والسلام, said in the hadith of Abdul uh, Sa'id, uh, Ibn Mas'ud oh, the hadith in Sahih Muslim the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said and Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal sami'tu rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and yaqul oh, sami'tu rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and qal min ra'a minkum munkarin fil yugayruhu bi yad fa in lam yastati'fa bi lisanihi fa in lam yastati'fa bi qalbihi wa thalika adu fil iman ruahu muslim the Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever sees a munkar from amongst you, then change it with his hand. And if he's unable to do so, then change it with his tongue, meaning speak out against it. And if he's unable to do so, then change it with his heart, hate it in his heart. And that's the weakest form of faith. Ayyullah habati fillah, refuting ahla bidah. If you have the ability to do so, you need knowledge, you need fiqh deen. then it becomes an obligation upon those people who Allah has favored with those attributes. And the taqwa, they also have to have taqwa, not just anyone. Because sometimes a person can have knowledge, but they don't fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they don't speak the truth in the, and keep within the limits. Or they speak ill of other people, even if they are mubtadi'a, and they go beyond the bounds. So we have to have several characteristics and may Allah bless us to be from Ahl Khair and not from Ahl Shar. This is just a simple advice to myself first and foremost as I was encouraged after listening to a nice lecture from one of our mashayikh in Yemen about the importance of the Sibyl al-Mu'mineen and the importance of Dawah to Ahl Sunnah and importance and not to become sad when you find Ahl Sunnah is few in numbers and that it is Dawah to Haq, it's Dawah to Salaf Fasadih it's a Dawah Illallah it's the Salafi Dawah, the Salafi Dawah is the only way for success Ayyullah Habbati Fillah don't compromise it, 
Hold on to it. وَاَتَّسُمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرُّكُوا Hold on steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. Because you're going to find many people who disagree with you. Many people who don't like you. Many people who curse you. Some people who even try to fight you. But you have to hold on to that rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. حَتَّى تَكُمُ السَّاعَةِ Until you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah bless us to be, have ikhlas with the battle of sunnah. And to stay firm on the sabil al-mu'mineen. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم